Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are taking a look at the brand new SH figure arts from Naruto. I've got two of them right here, so let's get into it. Now, the first question you probably have with this Naruto figure is why did I get two? I got two of these, and the only reason I did is because Naruto is known for the copy jutsu. <laughs> I wanted to recreate him having the Rasengan, and to do that, he needed a clone. So I went ahead and picked up two. These are not bad priced at all, going in at $34.99. If you are interested, I got mine from Kappa Hobby. I will leave a link down in the description below. But he is a general release, so you can get him wherever you want. You can get him from Amazon, Big Bad, Kappa, Entertainment Earth, wherever you want to get him. This is just a quick look at Naruto. If you guys are interested in anything in this video, definitely hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, because right here on YouTube, we collect together so we can find the best place and also the best price to get our collectibles. Today, guys, we're gonna take a look at everything he comes with and a little bit of the articulation. Shouldn't be anything out of the norm, maybe a little bit more flexible than those Dragon Ball figures we have on the channel. So first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at the outside of the box, look at the beautiful art that they were able to do. I really thought that they did a great job with the aesthetic. It does look very Naruto themed. It's very clean. It's very very nice. We're going to go ahead and set this one aside and we will go ahead and get the one that we've already cracked open right here and we will pull him out and see what everything he comes with. Let's go ahead and take this top shield off here. So starting with the faces, we have a plethora. Of course, we've got the smirking, smiling face that like Naruto have, is having a good time. Then we move over to the standard straight laid face. Nothing going on, very little expression that we almost need that as that stoic looking Naruto. Then we go into the comedic side, which you need this face just to capture the personality of Naruto. I love the fact that they included this face. This could have been something where they made a pre-order bonus or something like that, but they threw it in the box. Love that. Really, really great character. Then we go into the yelling face. This is obviously going to be used for a lot of Rosengan stuff. This is probably the one I will have him in. He'll be shooting a Rosengan into somebody. Love this face. It looks great. And one I think was most anticipated by previous collectors of the Naruto figures. I was not collecting at the time, so I do not own that figure. And this is the nine tail fox eyes. Looks great. A definitely an addition. And I think this alone probably sold the figure to previous collectors. Let's go ahead and move into the hands and arms. Why I say that is because the first thing we've got are the crossed arms. Naruto looks very menacing, looks really, really great. You can have him posing on top of a rooftop in Konoha. Then going into the hands, we've got two open palm hands, which can be used for the classic running Naruto pose as I did here. The next hands we got are the two pointer fingers. These are used for the shadow clone jutsu. These are a must have. These had to be in the set and I'm glad they included them. The next set we've got are the standard fists. There's no open. You can't hold anything. They're just fists. The next ones are the open fists. And I, why I say they're open because they can hold the kunai. And speaking of the kunai, let's go right into the other accessories. And yes, we get a kunai. This thing looks great. It is large. It looks fantastic in his hands. Super, super cool. And then the other accessory, of course, we get the Rasengan, which is really nice to see that we actually get an effects piece with this figure. I noticed in the first three figures of the Naruto line, Sakura and Sasuke, they both come with effects pieces, which is really, really cool because Dragon Ball does not do that very often, which makes me so sad. So now that we We've gone through everything he comes with. Let's go ahead and take a look at a little bit of articulation. Not much. He's pretty much a humanoid character. All the bells and whistles are going to be the same. Very quick glance at what he can do. He's got his fist that can rotate here. He's got his elbow bend. He's got his bicep bend there. His shoulder. He's got a little butterfly. Not much there. He's got the ball joint for his shoulder here. So you can move it all the way around. Same on the other side, his legs. He's got an ankle twist. He's got his toe bend. He's got his knee but the great thing about the naruto figures they're a little more flexible i want to say than the dragon ball characters they're not as beefy so they can actually go a lot more than 90 degrees which is fantastic which is definitely made for a ninja being able to squat and jump around the trees like they do in the anime so moving up here he's got his quad swivel there he can definitely he can almost yeah he can pretty much do the splits that's pretty sick. That is really good flexibility. Now with these figures being a little bit more slender than the Dragon Ball ones, I was worried a little bit that they would be a little bit more dainty and I don't feel that at all. SH Fig Arts is one of the best 1 12th scale figures out there that don't make any of their figures seem cheap. I have the Nafumi and the Raftalia from Figma and they just feel so dainty, so cheap and I'm really afraid to change out their parts as I believe I am going to break them. 
So moving up to his midsection, he can move his waist back and forth. Jacket right here is a little loose, almost like a belt on the Dragon Ball figures. And moving up to his midsection here, he's got his ab crunch. It's not much. His back bend is okay as well, but not a lot of mobility there. It can go side to side, front and back a little bit, but not a lot. I think the, most of the mobility is gonna come from his legs. Moving up to his head, it does not look like he's got, oh yeah, he's got a lot of movement in his head actually. He's, his head can go side to side. It can go forward and backward. Looking at the bottom of his neck there, you can see it moves just a little bit right in there. Now going into my favorite part of the video, we are going to take a look at this Naruto figure, recreated scenes from the anime. Of course, he is the more of the Shupiden version of Naruto. I hope you enjoy and take a look. Well guys, there is the quick glance at Naruto, the SH Figuarts Arts figure. If you are interested in him, like I said, he is a general release, so get him where you want him. So let me know down in the comments below, are you interested in this figure? Did you enjoy this unboxing? What do you wanna see more? We've got Dragon Ball figures coming, we've got TMNT figures, and until next time guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.